what would it take to grow vegetables all year long anywhere in the world? A small company in Madison, Wisconsin, believes they may have the answer. Orbital Technologies Corporation, better known as Orbitech, has been working on how to make things grow here on Earth and in space. In fact, for some time, the firm has been involved in research and development on plant growth with NASA. Through funding from the Small Business Innovation Research, or SBIR, program at NASA's Kennedy Space Center, Orbitech developed a biomass production system, also called a BPS. For more than 75 days, the BPS system flew on board the space station and allowed NASA to test how plants grew in space. Researchers were able to begin from seed, grow, and harvest multiple species in the BPS's growth chambers. The system proved that a controlled environment could support plant and even control growth in microgravity, something that will be critical for long-duration human space travel. We can use plants to regain the carbon dioxide that the crew gives off, take the gray water that the crew considers waste, and convert that into drinking water, at the same time providing food. The success of the BPS led to one of the largest NASA SPIR Phase III awards ever, a contract from Ames Research Center to develop plant research units, or PRUs. Orbitech improved on the success of the original biomass systems by adding soil moisture sensors, new humidity control technology, improved cameras, and advanced spectral lighting in the chambers for the PRUs. With NASA's new push for space exploration, the PRUs will play an important role as scientists continue to research plant growth in a space environment. To help others understand the BPS technology, Orbitech worked again with Kennedy Space Center to develop systems for educational activities, taking the technology out of the lab, out of orbit, and into the classroom. One of Orbitech's strengths is its concept to product process. Typically we do build uh, most of the, of the componentry, electronics, mechanical and software componentry that goes into the systems, but that's largely because we're pushing all of the needs that NASA has in low mass, low volume, low power utilization. Crab also feels that their success with Phase 3 awards has a lot to do with what they achieve in Phase 2 thereby gaining NASA's confidence in their work. Orbitech is also applying the controlled environment technology in another area. Since controlled environments recycle resources and are not weather dependent, they can have a tremendous impact on global farming. Orbitech is partnering with NASA to get some earlier SBIR research ready for prime time applications, ranging from plant growth, to nanocoatings, to manufacturing on other planets. A unique lunar surface concept is now bearing fruit as a concept for converting planetary soil into usable propulsion products. The furnace and led to additional advancement in technologies to laser treatment of the simulant soils, and so is now very, very relevant in what NASA is looking at for systems studies and use of in situ resources on, on the Moon and Mars. Orbitech will continue to partner with NASA on concepts for space exploration, and perhaps one day, because of their work, fresh tomatoes will grow in Wisconsin all year long.